M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the iRadio UV88 and look at all the bands that it covers. 64 to 108 FM broadcast, then 2.6 to 26.1 megahertz, so nearly CB band, uh, 520 to 1710 long wave, then you've got 18 to 520 received. TX on this one is 136 to 174. 400 to 480 but who knows um, with these radios they may TX on more bands so I've got the software so let's let's double click it I'll put the link in the description for you can hear lots of radios in the background so when it first opens up it reminds me of the Radtel RT4D it's very similar but it's without the the extra configuration for DMR contacts zones and talk groups so i feel like it's it looks like quite a straightforward program if we go straight to the tab that's called channel here and we can start adding in our channel so we'll go 145.600 that's gb3 wr ctcss and the transmit would be just slightly different with a one there 145.100 Actually, we don't need CTCSS on receive, so that'll stay to none. We need it on transmit, okay? So we just put it there. I've noticed that it's not actually saying the word transmit, but I always presume, going up here, that the latter one, the one nearest to the right, is the transmit one. CTCSS. Yeah, it's just after receive, you got CTCSS, after transmit, CTCSS. So there you are, 94.8, we can select our power, we put the name in here. So we just put in GB3WR. So this radio does have that quite wide receive. I'm surprised it stops at 26. Let's try 14.000 and just see what that does, 14 megahertz, you know. 014.000. I'm not going in as a memory, although it does receive it. Of course, it will do 2 meters and 70. So it will do, say, GB3FI. So 430.925. Uh, on the transmit, it's 438.525. You don't put in the shift, it just does, you just put the frequencies in. Transmit on that one is 77 and then power and then you name it GB uh, 3 FI Well that went in I'll just quickly try 50 megahertz See if that goes in yeah, that does go in that's GB 3 FH 51 Of course, I'll be testing this device once it gets here And then it's GB 3 FH haven't got it at the moment. We can still look at programming software uh, let's have a look what else we've got here. There are zones. Let's just call it groups, really. So you can rename the zone. So I could call that one repeater. And uh, if in that group, I can send what uh, what repeaters I have programmed in. Mean, they're not preloaded into the radio. You have to add them in yourself or import them. So I can just send one into that group. Now, when you go to, say, zone two, if I wanted to call that, say, PMR, and then I would have to create a, a PMR channel. So if you go back to channel and go 446, for example, just an example, there's a PMR channel, PMR. Oh, well, it's just a guess that frequency, it's not the correct one. PMR, then you go back to zone, click on the zone that you called PMR, Let's just rename that PMR, I'm sure why that didn't take. So when you click that zone, now I could put in PMR, which again didn't name. Maybe I'm not pressing enter. PMR one, enter. Right, go back to zone. There you are. And now, it, when you when you highlight PMR, you can now add that in, and it will just go in the PMR zone. If you go to repeaters, it will vanish. Different groups of channels, really good actually. And then we go across to the right FM radio. We just put in ninety four point three zero. That's my FM radio. All right, you've got a range here. That's interesting. Yeah. Not sure why you need to choose range, but it is asking me to select it. So let's do the top one. 
And now, all oh, right, okay. So this is all like a big receive sort of range thing. So if we go to 23.2.3 uh, to 26.1, we'll have different frequencies that we can choose. So will it let me put a seven there? <laughs> uh, 2.7. Let's just try it. No. Okay, but I, I still think there'll be a mod. <clears throat> DTMF transmit. Power on. So when it powers on, you can play with the logo. Not done that yet. A welcome message, which is in Chinese at the moment. But we can delete that. Let's go M0, pick B. Let's go Andreas. So when it powers on. What else? Import and export different logos. Device range. It's going up to 1000 megahertz. There, 660 there. Yeah, the radio has to have the right hardware. Name and ID. So I'm guessing we, if we want, we can just put an MFXP there. And you've got here lock range. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but we can learn more on that. So to read and write, you've got it here. Read and write to the radio. You do need to select your port when you connect. That's your COM port where the USB cable is plugged in. You've got key, which is basically the buttons. And look, every single button on this radio is programmable. Every button. So you hold down, say, number two, once selected. You've got dual standby there, selected. Everywhere, look at all that. GPS as well. This model does have GPS, but there are models that do not have GPS. And there is a spectrum scope, which I've seen on the Radtel RT4D. Uh, but that one has DMR. Dual watch, all the usual things. NOAA, weather channel, zone selections. And monitor, radio. For the buttons, we've got selections for the buttons here. So I don't see any GPS settings. It says extend it. Ah, GPS enabled. On or off. Board rate. Yeah. Board rate normally means you can connect it to something. Time. Automatic power off. DTMF. There's a UV radio version. 1.07 there could be new ones this came from the seller configuration page there so you can tell it here if you look on the right hand side you can tell it to boot up on a certain zone and a certain channel and it can display the frequency mode or channel mode or zone mode which is common with these radios now the voice prompts when the radio talks to you display timer you can turn that off so it's on all the time. Backlight on. You can change the contrast. These are quite basic screens. If you look here at this video that I saw, they're quite basic screens. So the Radtel 4D, which I've got here, which I think is an excellent set. Let's just move that here. Like so. Let's turn it on. Now, this little thing. It pretty much covers, it's not got GPS, but it pretty much covers the same bands. Channel mode. It's Two. 50 quid, 50 pound. Yeah, but it's got DMR. As well as being um, 18 megahertz upwards. It's not 18 megahertz downwards. And the point of these ones is that they are make 18 megahertz downwards. So they're quite rugged, tall devices. I've seen similar designs. You've got the TK11, haven't you, as well, that everyone's talking about. You know, people are really raving on about this radio, and I know it looks blue, but it's not actually a blue screen. And But this one does say that it will transmit on CB. So a lot because of that, many, many people want this device. And it's not available yet, but I'm sure it will be any day for her. And my guess is £60. Um, it's advertised as 10 watts, big battery, and yeah, 2 meters 70. And then it goes, says here, 25 to 29, 
50 megahertz. So I can see why they want it. And the software is going to be very, very similar, virtually identical to the software I just showed you. And if I can get that software, I will. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you with your IV UV88. The other one it will work is identical to is the Radtel 860. Um, looks like this. They've, they've all got this extra antenna in the middle. Not the, not the RT4D I showed you, but they've all got that, that middle knob pulls off. You've got an extra antenna, but they're using, I feel like they're using very, the same chip or similar chips for all of these type radios. And look at it there. Look at that. Look at all those frequencies. And that one's about, yeah, about 50 delivered. I've got the UV88 on way and the 860. I'll be getting the TK11. And I've got the RT4D here, which is very similar to program. So watch the, the Radtail RT4D videos if you want to um, get a feel for how to program any of these, really. Very similar. Uh, it's, a lot of it, I think, is reliant to on making sure you set those buttons because you like I said you can set every single button on this device every single button and this is what it looks like yeah even the all these radios every button is programmable but it's it's a very basic screen they tend to have dual PTT as well thanks for watching bye for now